release terrorists for one, all these terrorists just for, for one Jewish life. Is there a precedent for this in, in Judaism? The Rambam says that one is not permitted to have uh, or pay excessive ransom in a situation where it would only cause the enemy to want to hike the, the, uh, the ransom next time and know that he can get it and therefore be more anxious and more prone to further kidnapping. So in that case, the Rambam asks parameters as to what is permitted and not permitted in terms of excess, in terms of, uh, of redemption. And that being the case, uh, uh, could be one is excessive if he's a murderer. And uh, uh, I mean, it shows that uh, that uh, one Jewish life is worth uh, a thousand a days. But uh, uh, but uh, unfortunately, those thousand aren't really good lives of good people. They're murderers. That's why they were in prison in the first place. They weren't in prison for parking infractions. So, uh, therefore, the, uh, uh, the issue of putting out more danger to the Jewish people at large uh, is a significant issue that needs to be uh, discussed by the great scholars.